The Bonn Climate Change Meeting, according to Eva de Boer, the outgoing Executive Secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, represents 50% of negotiating time needed before the next Conference of Parties, COP16, in Cancun, Mexico. One of the many reasons why the negotiations could not be concluded in, in Copenhagen is because there is still, amongst the negotiators, a widely differing view on what it is we're actually working towards. This notwithstanding, there are areas, it says, that need to be addressed in order to restore confidence in the process. One of the main priorities for this year is to rebuild trust, rebuild confidence in that negotiating process. And in that context, I believe it's very important that that $30 billion in promised our finance really begins to flow. A verbal agreement is not what the paper it is written upon. These are all talks. We have not seen a single, a single, a single dollar. The refusal by some developed countries to accept ambitious emission cuts was a contentious issue in Copenhagen. The negotiation process, from Ivo de Bois' view, might never deliver on that. I, I don't see the, the process delivering adequate mitigation targets in the next decade. Although Ivo de Boer agreed that the Copenhagen conference did not meet expectations set, he however noted that it raised climate change as a policy issue and also advanced technological and technical aspects of climate change. The Bonn gathering is the first official meeting after the Copenhagen climate change conference in December 2009. Now areas that were not touched during that meeting will be fine-tuned in this Bonn gathering. From Bonn, venue of the meeting, Jennifer Igwe.